Want to learn the five deadly sins for selling on Amazon that cause people to fail and how to avoid them? Stop whatever else you're doing and watch this video now. Not only do we run our own successful physical products businesses on Amazon, we've taught over 30,000 people how to become successful sellers on Amazon, and they've even been featured in Forbes, Entrepreneur, Success Magazine, and Business Insider. So the first deadly sin of selling on Amazon is focusing on personal preference rather than on data. You know, this is one of the biggest things that uh, people had to get over when we started teaching them this model years ago. It's that, you know, everyone has a brilliant product idea. There's something that they want to sell that nobody's ever sold and they think is going to do great. The problem is, is that if you're building a business to make money, that's a very risky way to do it. The good thing about selling on Amazon is Amazon gives you the data of what's selling well. You can find out how many competitors are. You can find out how many reviews that they have. So Amazon has a massive amount of data that, that gives you the opportunity to really filter down into opportunities that are proven with high sales volume and low competition so you don't have to guess. So don't worry about you know trying to be the first person to market with some brilliant idea. Let Amazon tell you what the best products are and start there first. Absolutely. Number two is not enough profit margin. And this one is absolutely huge because if you don't have enough profit margin, you're not gonna be able to take advantage of really putting any marketing efforts into it. One of the biggest things on Amazon right now is Amazon's marketing platform or advertising platform. And a way you can really dominate your competition is making sure you have enough profit margin in there to actually afford to spend ads. And a big thing that happens with this is people tend to get a little lazy when they start looking at the pricing. They just find out exactly what the manufacturer will sell it for and they say, oh, okay, well then I can sell it at this price and there's a profit margin, but there's more to it than that. And Amazon actually has a fantastic free tool that allows you to know exactly what to target and what your expenses will be. And in my personal opinion, I recommend no less than 20% profit margin, but you really want to focus for around 30%. That's a really a magic number where it gives you a lot of freedom to be able to spend money to grow and market your product and then be able to take profit out for yourself as well. Yep, and the third deadly sin is selling a low quality product. A lot of times when somebody comes to us that's either been through our training or has never been through our training and they're like, I don't understand why my business isn't working. One of the first things we always look at is their product. Are they selling a good, high quality product? I remember one time we were sitting in a private mastermind and this guy had his product up on the screen and was like, I don't know, maybe I'm not doing some of the advertising stuff right that Jason was talking about. Uh, I'm not getting my traffic from outside of Amazon to work well. And the people were giving him nice marketing ideas. And I started looking at his reviews and I was like, it looks like your product doesn't actually work. That's something that you need to sort out first before anything else. Otherwise, you're gonna be fighting bad reviews. You're not gonna get as many positive reviews. You're not gonna get as many referral sales and repeat buyers. So first things first, make sure you have a good high quality product that you're selling on Amazon. And then the next thing is poor inventory management. This one will kill your business. And when you're first launching on Amazon, you're first starting, you're gonna run out of inventory. We actually never recommend anyone buying too much inventory because you wanna make sure your product first sells. But then once your product starts selling, then you gotta take strict control of your inventory. Because one of the things that happen is as you run out of inventory and other people are able to take the momentum that your product being void has gained, once you get Get your inventory back in you have to fight climb and scrape to be able to get those sales back it takes you a lot more spending on amazon ads and it's just a lot of work but if you forecast and i recommend trying to do a 24 month you can do a 12 month but almost a 24 month rolling forecast of your expected inventory needs so that you can really understand how much inventory you have how long it's going to be and you can order in the right amount of time poor inventory management will absolutely crush a business Yep, and the fifth and final deadly sin is focusing on traffic before conversion. A lot of times, you know, especially if you like marketing, especially if you're trying to build your business fast, you're like, I just want to start getting sales. And the easiest way you think to get sales is to start just turning on ads. Maybe you're turning on Amazon ads, uh, maybe you're turning on Facebook ads or any other source of traffic you have access to, you're posting on social media, any way you can get people to find and buy your product, you start doing that stuff first. The problem is, 
is that's backwards. You wanna make sure before you start especially spending money for people to go check out your product on Amazon that you have a good, high quality product listing. And on Amazon, that means good photos, good title, good bullet points, good description, at least a handful of good solid reviews. Because if you get all that stuff in place first, then all of that traffic is gonna be way more profitable. Otherwise, you may spend a bunch of money on ads and be like, ah, this business just isn't working. I just keep losing money, I don't really get it. But if you would have just focused on creating the best listing possible first, then turning on the ads, much more profitable and you're off and running and can start scaling your business. Absolutely. And if you like this video and found it helpful, please, please, please leave the comment amazing in the comments and make sure to check out our completely free six part training series that'll teach you our proven process to build a profitable brand on Amazon, covering everything from how to scientifically pick a product that's a proven winner all the way how to optimize and launch your product for maximum traffic and sales. Check it out at AmazingSellingMachine.com. See you later.